we're going to talk about some recruiting here. Recruiting never sleeps. I actually got our, um, we've actually just named our super team. Uh, it'll come out in the 2016 summer edition to the A. Campbell's Texas Football. We've also got our top 300. Uh, I don't want to make any promises, but uh, there are a, uh, I will tell you that the guys we're talking about are in the th- top 300. I, I, I think that's fair. Uh, so here to talk about some of the very best athletes and wide receivers in the Lone Star State in the class of 2017 is James Lott, the official recruiting analyst of Dave Campbell's Texas football. James, how are you? Hello, hello. How are we doing over there? We are hanging in there, uh, get, getting to be that crazy time of year, as you well know. And and here's, uh, you sent me three names today of guys who I think that uh, coaches are all going to describe them as wide receivers. But to me, in watching all of these guys, calling them simply a wide receiver is probably selling them a little bit short. Ab- absolutely. And when you look at them, every one of these kids are, and that's why I kind of wanted to talk about them. They're all, if I'm in a recruiting room and I'm the recruiting coordinator and I'm making decisions on who I'm bringing in and who I'm giving the scholarship, these kids are going to get a lot of looks just because you're talking about kids that can do multiple things. They can play free safety. They can return punts. They can return kicks. They can play wide receiver. Uh, so if you bring a kid in that can only play one position, of course, these type of kids would, 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 would be more appealing to me just because they're, they're able to do so much. Uh, we start uh, in Fort Worth, the latest star to come out of Fort Worth ISD, the Scorpions at South Hills. Uh, it's Tylen Wallace, a, a guy who uh, who caught 59 passes for more than 1,400 yards and 20 touchdowns last year. One of the very best wide receivers in the state. But beyond that, he's also an outstanding defensive back for the for the Scorpions. When when you watch Tylen Wallace out of Fort Worth South Hills work, uh, what stands out to you? And that's what I see when I watch Tylen. It's like you cut the film on and you say, okay. Is he a free safety? Is he a wide receiver? The beautiful thing is he could play both. Uh, so, uh, but but excellent range, uh, excellent speed, acceleration, big play capabilities with the ball in his hands, excellent rack. Uh, uh, so when he catches the ball on a hitch route, he can take it to the house. Uh, something to watch. Excellent jumping ability. Can climb the ladder and go get the rock up 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 high. Uh, and he right now he's committed to Oklahoma State. And it, what's interesting about him also, he's got a twin brother, uh, Trayson Wallace, that's a three-star quarterback that's also committed to uh, Oklahoma State uh, right now. So uh, one of the better uh, receivers in the state right now. Pretty nice package deal there if you can grab both Tylen and Trayson Wallace out of Fort Worth, South Hills. Uh, Absolutely. Another guy you, you mentioned uh, out east, John Tyler, uh, never short on prospects. Uh, just go ask Rickland Holmes. He's one of the very best in the state at, at talking up his kids. And he doesn't need to talk up Damian Miller, though. Uh, the wide receiver uh, is absolutely outstanding, a, a physical freak out there, but he can also play some safety. Uh, for you, uh, what makes Damian Miller special? Big, strong, 6'2", 195, 4'5", kid that could run and, and jump, uh, Caught 41 balls for 912 yards and nine touchdowns last year. Excellent explosion off the line of scrimmage. When I watch him, I cut the film on. It's like, boy, this kid really explodes off the line of scrimmage and he eats up that cushion on those defensive backs. He can track and locate the ball over either shoulder. Uh, you know, just a just a freak, like you said. Uh, they move him around. They may put him in the backfield. They'll bring him around on reverses. Uh, but then you, you you turn around and they play defense. They'll throw him out there on defense and he's making plays over there. But uh, just a tremendous athlete, uh, committed right right now to Texas. But I, I, it was something interesting I read earlier. Uh, it, it said that he was 70% committed. <laughs> well, last time I checked, committed me 100%. So I guess things have changed. Uh, uh, but, but just a freak of an athlete. Who, who, if he does end up going to my Longhorns, I'm looking forward to that. 
He is uh, he he's he's really something special, and I'm glad you brought up the the idea of, the, of, of him getting off the line quickly. I, I think that for a lot of fans, it's easy to look back there and and see a guy like uh, let's use KD Cannon at Baylor for example. KD Cannon has outstanding top end speed. That if he gets up to full right. speed, it's it's over. He's the fastest guy on the field. Uh, here's a guy in Damian Miller who it seems like his biggest strength isn't necessarily how fast he is once he gets up to full speed, but how quickly he gets there. Right. And what you what you look at is when when the ball snap, he's coming off the ball with such explosion on a defensive back, he pushes he puts pressure on that defense immediately and that defensive back's gotta gotta flip his hips and come out of his back pedal uh, a lot quicker than what he would normally want to, but just a threat. Uh, and you also can see it really on when he catches a hitch route or a screen or something like that. He's up to top speed like immediately. He explodes off the line. So just a great athlete with great explosion and one one that's one's going to be a great one to watch next year. We're talking with James Lott, the official recruiting analyst of Dave Campbell's Texas Football here on DCTF Live. Get involved in the conversation at hashtag DCTF Live. James, one other guy you sent me. Uh, he's been in the news a little bit lately. <laughs> Uh, Manny Netherly out <laughs> of Crosby, Jeff Reardon squad, of course, always putting out big time talent. And uh, we've been hearing from uh, our, our friends down there at Crosby about Manny Netherly for a couple of years now. It seemed like last year he really had that breakout uh, breakout uh, season. Now here he is uh, officially uncommitted. He decommitted from uh, uh, from Texas A&M after the whole Aaron Moorhead uh, debacle. W- when you look at Manny <laughs> Netherly, when you watch him play, uh, what stands out to you? 36-inch vertical, 6'2", 185-pound kid, 26 overall uh, receiver uh, uh, out there. He can play quarterback. He can play wide receiver. uh He's being looked at by LSU, Alabama, Auburn, Georgia, and others. Uh, but just another special talent. Uh, had 1,200 yards for over 20 touchdowns last year. And another guy that played multiple positions. He, he, he played quarterback, wide receiver, uh, kick returner, and punt returner. Big target, especially on jump balls. They like to go to him down in the end zone throw it up to him and he can really climb the ladder and go up and get the rock. Uh, but, but a special talent, uh, nonetheless. And, and, and like I said, like you said earlier, be committed, uh, from, um, from a and after that debacle. Uh, so, uh, uh, but, but that's good for a lot of other schools, uh, that, that were high. He's high on their list. So I'm looking forward to, to see where he ends up. I want to ask you about that briefly, without without uh, stepping into to too treacherous of waters. Uh, when when <laughs> something like this happens, uh, I, I know that obviously recruiting is a is a real cutthroat game, and there's a, everybody's going after the same kids and the same guys who are who are really big. But uh, I think for me, the, the takeaway for for me is that um, you know we talk so much about. Uh, how these these players need to be responsible on social media and, and and absolutely you know trust me you know we hear it all the time that that college coaches are always monitoring these social medias and, and if you're out there you know saying stupid things or posting stupid pictures on Twitter they're going to hear about it uh, it seems to me that that emotions run awful high for for college coaches as well right and and at the end of the day guys we're talking 17 and 18 year old kids mm-hmm. I think in this situation, somebody's got to be the adult. It's really hard, uh, and I'm 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 going to wear my ex-player hat for a moment. It's really hard for a kid at 17 to 18 to make a decision about anything. You know what he's going to wear, his girlfriend, whatever. Uh, so asking him to make a decision off off of one visit or off of two visits. Uh, is 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 a hard thing to do. So I think all these kids, you know, and I don't want to get in trouble saying this, but they they should explore the whole recruiting process because you never know. You could go to one school and 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 think you've seen it all. Oh, this place is great, but but guys, trust me, they all have that. Mm-hmm. The all the other schools have that too. So keep your options open and 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 make sure you look at all your scenarios before you commit to anything. Uh, but but at the end of the day, you know, it, it comes out and 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 these kids got to be more responsible. But I think the adults in this situation bear 
uh, the blunt, uh, the brunt of that responsibility also. He is James Lott. He is the official recruiting analyst of Dave Campbell's Texas football. He is always responsible on social media, and you can follow him <laughs> at JL Scouting. James, appreciate your time, bud, and we'll do it again next week. Okay, guys. I appreciate it. Talk to you later.